Welcome to the first TrainTube.com tutorial video. We're going to be looking at installing and configuring uTorrent so you can use it with the TrainTube.com uh, download library which supports uh, BitTorrent um, file transfers. Okay, so let's search for uTorrent. Now you can use almost any, uh, well you can use any BitTorrent client that you like. Um, I think uTorrent is a good client. It's closed source rather than open source but it is good. The main downside um, to it is the installer does um, ask you if you wish to install um, three other programs which aren't related to uTorrent. Uh, some might call them um, uh, adware or something like that. But it's quite straightforward if you read the menus to make sure they don't install. Um, so off we go. We're going to search in Google for uTorrent. So uh, this is the uh, uTorrent page. Click get uTorrent. We want the free download. And in a second, it'll download um, for us Alaska's where we want to save it. So uTorrent's now downloaded, as you can see here. So we just um, click the um, exe and choose run. And now the installer is running, so we click next, next, accept the license agreement. Choose which icons you want to create. I just want a, uh, a desktop icon. Um, add an exception to your Windows firewall, and I also like to have you taunt starting with Windows. Now, this is uh, the first of the three um, um, alternative programs that the installer tries to add as well. So make sure you untick the box and click next. Make sure you click decline offer and click next and finally choose I do not accept and click finish so here is the uh, Utah client up and running um, we need to change a few options to make it uh, uh, one the best we can and the first options I like to um, change is how the client behaves when you click the minimize or close button so when I click minimize I want the to client to minimize to my tray which is the the icons down by the clock in the bottom right hand corner and when I click close I want the program to close I don't want it to go to tray so I'm going to untick the close button goes to the tray so minimize we've ticked when we minimize it goes to tray and when we close I want the program to close we click OK then let's turn off these adverts um, first of all right click on bundles and go hide then go into options Preferences again, down to advanced, and search for offer. Let's turn off these two advert offers here and click OK. Now we will close and reopen uh, uTorrent, and um, the adverts in the corner there should have disappeared. Okay, so that's Utah back up and running again. As you can see, all the adverts have gone. Next thing we're going to do is configure the speed of downloading and uploading for Utah. Unfortunately, Utah has a nice little setup guide. So let's click Setup Guide. We're going to allow it to check our bandwidth, and I'm in the UK, so we'll leave it to the default of London. And it will adjust our um, bandwidth settings, and we're also going to check that network connectivity is working. So we click Run Tests. And the bandwidth test is now running. So there we go, the tests have completed. It's telling us our upload speed, so let's click save and close. Okay, there's a few more options that I, uh, I personally like to change. So we're going to go back into preferences. And we're going to go through them um, uh, one by one. So, um, I like to have my uh, torrents and downloads uh, all put into a certain location. So let's put new downloads into a particular folder. So I go and choose the folder you'd like. So I've created a new folder called torrents. And then I like to put my stuff into downloads. I like to save the actual uh, .torrent files. Um, so this is not the actual uh, download itself, but the little uh, tiny file that allows uTorrent to um, go to work and get the file that you want. So I like to store those as well and keep those. So I'm going to save those again uh, in my torrents folder. And then I'm going to click those in torrent files. Finally, 
Finally, um, it can be helpful if you create a folder where if a torrent file exists, the new torrent will automatically add them in and start downloading them. So um, we uh, click on the automatically load new torrents from. Again, we go and select a folder. Auto load torrents is what I've called it. And when uh, I um, when new torrent grabs a, a file from there, I want it to delete the file that it's grabbed afterwards. Now I'm going to change my uh, bandwidth settings. So I, although my maximum bandwidth, um, the um, setup uh, guide that we ran earlier has chosen 204, I like to change that um, and keep that a lot lower. So I'm going to just set mine to 20 rather than 200. Also I like to limit the download rate. Um, I'm going to limit mine to 150 kilobytes. Um, I've got a um, to a megabit connection, so that's much, much slower than a connection. But that just means that uh, we can be watching um, YouTube clips or whatever without you taking all our bandwidth whilst that's going on. Now, if you have um, an ISP that limits how much uh, content you're allowed to download during a month, you could enable these caps. So you can limit how much um, uploading or downloading or the combined upload and download is allowed to occur in any uh, period to the default being 31 days. So that will stop you going over any caps that your ISP um, might impose. So we're going to save all those settings I've changed and then we're going to download our first torrent. So here's our um, browser again. So let's go to chainsimdev.com and we'll go to the downloads area choose one of the freeware packs we'll go for the class 50 so we can either click um, the browser download here or we can click the torrent download option that's if we're a member if you're not a member then these two options uh, will, uh, don't work when you click them they just take you to the details but from the details <coughs> again if you're a member you can use the download using BitTorrent option at the top here or browser um, and if you're not a member, you need to put a little um, capture to, to make sure you're not a bot, basically a computer trying to, a robot trying to download content. So please, if at all possible, please do use the BitTorrent option. It saves on our server's bandwidth consider considerably, um, which is uh, we have to pay for to run the site, and we want to keep the site free. So I'm going to click download using BitTorrent. When we do that, we get a small um, torrent file, and save that wherever you like. I click uh, save and if I now um, click that um, uh, torrent file to open it in a moment the uTorrent client um, will uh, appear and add that torrent in for downloading so there we go so it's chosen that default download location that uh, I wanted uh, it's going to start that torrent automatically as soon as I click OK now I always like to untick the create subfolder option what that does is normally with inside downloads it will create another folder called whatever the name of the torrent is and then it will download the content within there by unticking create subfolder and it will remember that option so that next time we do this that's already unticked it means it doesn't put every single download in its own um, folder which allows us to build up um, a collection of downloads um, more easily without lots and lots of subfolders so if i click ok As you can see, um, that's connected to our um, uh, tracker, a tracker that keeps uh, all the clients, um, allows them all to communicate each other. And it's now downloading um, that file, and it's going to be, it's a 13 meg file, it's going to be finished in just a couple of minutes. Um, and as soon as it's finished, we'll be able to um, open up that uh, file and use it. Okay, so that torrent has finished downloading. So if we right click and go open containing folder, uh, this is a standard alert um, by uTorrent. Um, the file does not contain any viruses. Um, it's just a standard alert that uTorrent will, will do. So we're just gonna ask it not to show you that again and click continue. And if we go to that folder, so we now got, uh, uh, this is content I've downloaded before, but here's uh, our one we've just done. So inside train simulator, freeware packs, livery packs, there is our freeware pack ready to go. 
briefly also here, I want to show you a few other things. Um, if you are concerned about viruses and everything like that, then every upload to trainsim.com is scanned by uh, an online virus checker, which uses um, usually about 50 different antivirus programs. This one um, has returned one out of 50 positive results, but we can even go and have a look at those results. So we have a quick look. So it's uh, the antivirus scan is done by Virus Total. So we've had one, and this is a false positive, um, because as I say 49 say the file is okay, but one thinks it might contain something. But this is a false positive, which is fairly common when you're scanning with 50 different uh, antivirus programs. Um, so that's one of the features of trainsindev.com, so all the files are scanned. Um, and we've got all sorts of other details. We can view all the different images um, that are associated with this um, uh, download. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to develop the site further and um, keep it free for everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video and thank you very much for watching.